Well, I've got my furniture stripping gloves on, the NT lacquer I made the other day, my batch of crackle mix, and I've teared this uh, batch on the scale, scales reading zero, so I'll be able to know how much of the NC lacquer I have to add to get the wet putty consistency that Lloyd talks about. working this with the hands I think I've got the door open uh, just so I can film in here I'd normally do this outdoors I've got no electric appliances or anything on where this could spark. This is putting acetone fumes into the air. Well, it's starting to turn into a putty but not a wet one yet. He says not to worry about adding too much of the lacquer. But, uh, we can always work it and get it to dry out. And this is pretty wet now. He said to get it like a batter. Well, I got it like a batter would. Let's see what we got here. I'll work this. I'll keep working this until I get it into a... Uh, workable dryer putty. That's going to take a little while to get that evaporate out of there. See what kind of weight we have right now. It's going to be tough to know exactly since I've got some stuck on my gloves, but we'll see. Well, that right there, not counting what's on my gloves, which is drying out pretty fastly, pretty quickly. I've got, oh, two a little more than two, well there's two and a quarter. I've got 2.3, I've probably got a good two and a half ounces or a little more of the lacquer in that batch and it made it pretty wet so I'll work it till it evaporates out some. And I'm scraping down the side of this just a little bit and Lloyd says to work all this until it becomes a stiff dough so I'm going to get try to get something like play-doh and then I'll Push it through the four mesh screen onto a sheet of craft paper. Let it dry outside until they uh, get ready to do the next step in the process. I haven't done crackle in years. I used to love crackle. Crackle Comet. I used to use lead tetroxide a lot. When you could get it, this is fun. I think I'll make some big crackle comets using uh, that modified D1 Miller silver gold glitter. Make some two and a half and three and a half inch comets for three inch and four inch guns to fire at the next club shoot. like that uh, Mighty Cobra, Mighty Python cake that shoots that glittering crackle star effect into the sky one after another. I always, that was always one of my favorite cakes. We we're getting close to a stiff dough. Guess I'll be saving this tub for making crackle then. Of course I could always wash it out with some acetone too, but I suspect I'll be making more crackle in the future, so why not save it? Well, 
although this Lloyd says you will work up a sweat on this, and he makes five pound batches, I'm only making this smaller batch, and it's cool in the early winter, and I'm still sweating inside this sweatshirt, but uh, this has definitely turned into a nice stiff putty, sort of like Play-Doh, so I think I'll go ahead and put it to the four mesh screen and do the next step of it. I like to slide along with along the direction of the top wires and then have it cut it off with the lower wires. Oh, that's nice. I'll let those dry out some and then I'll uh, do the next step of putting them through the six mesh screen like he talks about. I decided to spread them out just a little bit to get them drying a little more quickly and more evenly. And then I'll go on to the next step. Hmm, interesting. Well, I don't really have a six mesh screen, I realize. I've got an eight mesh, but these are going to go in big commas, so I might not be afraid of having them be a little bit on the big side. I've got a tighter, slightly tighter weave galvanized four mesh screen than the one I cut them through. And these are not sticking together anymore after they've been on the sheet for a little while with a breeze blowing on them. So I'm going to work these slowly through this slightly smaller screen, like Lloyd says, just breaking them up down into slightly smaller granules that are about an eighth of an inch square, maybe a little bit bigger in this case. I can still smell acetone in them, so they still have a little ways to go to dry, but they're hard enough to hold their shape during this process. says the small fines can be sifted out of this and incorporated into the next batch, re-softened with acetone if I don't want to use the fines or anything, or I could save the fines for a crackling fountain, which would probably be fun. I'll use the bigger stars, prime them, and put them in the comets, and I'll prime the little bits, or just put them in a crackling fountain, see how they work. Yeah, there's a lot of nice 3 16th to one eighth, one eighth inch bits in there. A lot of fines too. Well, that's a pretty nice looking batch of crackle. I'll let that dry outdoors for an hour or two in this breeze and it'll be completely ready to prime then. Well, let's see what a couple of those dry crackle granules will do as far as popping them. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice in a comet. Well, here's about an eighth teaspoon of crackle. Pretty impressive. 